Hey guys, Don Colt Export here, and if you have seen my review of the 5700 XT, you'll know that I had an issue with uh, a couple of screws that are supposed to keep the heatsink tight against the VRM, and they were too long, so they didn't do that. Now, I already made that card, I got, got another card which had the exact, exact same issue, so I already made that as well, and this is now my third one, and uh, we are going to see if this one has the same issue as the other ones. So, let's start by just opening up this package. Yeah, let's put that there. Now, let's see. I ripped the box a bit. Oh well. Let's see if uh, this thing has the same issue as the other ones. Okay, so here it is. It's still cold from uh, being in the box and does this has the same issue as the other ones? Yes, it does. Yeah, okay, so uh, this one is going to be our made as well, but not until after I have checked out the new BIOS for the card. And I will probably return this and get my money back because I'm sick of sending it back and forth, as you probably understand. And I will probably get the Aorus 5700XT that was uh, uh, teased a few days ago, a week ago, something like that. Uh, so. Until then, I'll be using my GTX 1070, but yeah. Now let's see how this thing performs with the new economy BIOS. Okay, now I'm going to show you how to update the BIOS on your Strix card. So first, uh, make sure your Strix card is in the quiet BIOS, or you're using the quiet BIOS. I'm not doing that, so I'm going to make a quick restart. So if you are not using the Quiet BIOS and you have already started your computer and you're in the Performance BIOS, just flip the switch to the Quiet BIOS and restart. And once the computer is restarted, it should now be in Quiet mode or Quiet BIOS. Okay, so once you're into Windows, open up your browser of choice. And you can just search for Asus RX 5700 XC Strix and just go to the product page. And once you're there, you can go to support, driver and utility, and then BIOS and firmware. And here it is. So I already downloaded it earlier. And I can just do it again. So just hit download. And you will download the zip file. And your Windows may uh, warn you that this is a virus. But uh, you, you can just clear that. So it's, it's not a virus. And you can just run the update tool, run anyway, and you will get this message. So if you flash, flash second mode, please move the slide to P or Q mode, then tap OK button. So just make sure your graphic card is in the quiet mode or quiet BIOS, and then, just, then you can just hit OK. And now the program will flash your BIOS, your computer will restart, and then you are using the new efficiency or eco BIOS. And if you want to go back uh, or refresh the quiet BIOS, so it just tells us that the update is successful and it will now reboot your system. And if you want to uh, flash back to the quiet BIOS, you can just do this one more time, just run the tool again and it will flash back to the quiet BIOS. And that's pretty much it. So now let's just see how how were the performances compared to the other two BIOSes. All the following numbers will be from this particular card. Uh, so let's start off with temperature for stressing the GPU. I ran superposition in 1080p extreme in game mode and let it sit there for about 20 minutes. 
The OC BIOS had a peak GPU temperature of 71 degrees, 10 degrees cooler than the Quiet BIOS, but 3 degrees warmer than the new Eco or Efficiency BIOS. Hotspot temperature was 95 degrees Celsius for the OC BIOS, 100 degrees Celsius for the Quiet BIOS, and 87 degrees Celsius for the new Efficiency BIOS. A welcome change there. Memory temperatures were the same for the OC and the new efficiency BIOS while being 10 degrees warmer with the quiet BIOS. And VRM temperatures has also been improved with the new Eco or efficiency BIOS. It peaked at 68 degrees Celsius with the new BIOS being 3 degrees cooler than the OC BIOS and a whopping 14 degrees cooler than the quiet BIOS. Now let's look at power consumption. So power consumption was measured using a Corsair RM1000i power supply and we're looking at a power draw from the PSU at the 12 volt rail. While running superposition the power consumption using the new Eco BIOS was 291 watts. A massive 43 watts less than the OC BIOS and 31 watts less than the Quiet BIOS. But what about noise? Well, the noise for the new Eco BIOS was identical to the OC BIOS at 43 dBA, a noticeable 4.5 dBA higher than the Quiet BIOS. Now, the reason for that is that the fan speed is pretty much the same for the OC BIOS and the new Eco BIOS. And as we can see in this line chart, while running superposition, the Quiet BIOS ran the fans at 1350 RPM, at which point they are very quiet. The OC BIOS and the new Eco BIOS ran the fans at around 1800 RPM, with the OC BIOS being about 50 RPM faster towards the end there. Now this explains why they produce the same amount of noise. And following is a short noise comparison. Now let's see what implications this lower power usage has for GPU frequency. Again using a line chart we can see that the new efficiency BIOS is not able to boost to the same level as the OC and the quiet BIOS, uh, no doubt owing to the lower power budget. Average GPU frequency was 1998 MHz for the OC BIOS, 1963 MHz for the quiet BIOS and 1928 MHz for the new efficiency BIOS. Now let's run Superposition's 1080p Extreme Benchmark and see what score we get. So for the OC BIOS the score is 5325 points, the Quiet BIOS did 5277 points and the new Efficiency BIOS came in at 5186 points. So the new Efficiency BIOS is about 3% behind the OC BIOS and 2% behind the Quiet BIOS. Running another Synthetic Benchmark and the story is the same. In Firestrike Extreme, the graphics score for the efficiency BIOS is 13,012 points. Now, this is uh, less than the OC and the Quiet BIOS, but only about 2% behind, so there's not a lot of difference there. Now, to test what the real world performance would be like, I, ran, I just ran the Shadow of the Tomb Raider benchmark at 1440p, and here are the average figures. So, 70.8 frames per second for the OC BIOS, 68.7 frames per second for the Quiet BIOS, and 69.2 frames per second for the new economy or efficiency BIOS. So then, are the lower power draw and the lower temperatures worth a slight loss in performance? Mm, well, I'll leave that up to you. I'll leave a link to the ASUS website in the description, and that's pretty much it for this video. Uh, but before I forget, I will make a short video on what I have bought during this Black Friday sale, but I'm waiting for the parts to arrive before I do that. And as of this video, they're not even sent yet, so it may take a while. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, and farewell.